Magical World, Wendy from Cali here, back with another Manny chat. Not a mixed Manny this time. Uh, it is Friday, TGIF, and day after Color Street launched their Don't Be Afraid Halloween sets, and I had mentioned that one of the sets released is a throwback set that is like one of my like all time unicorn hard to find retired sets they brought it back it was in my wendy's favorite nails sets binder number one and i'm gonna use it today because why not i can totally buy another one if i love it as much on my nails as i do in the package so if you hadn't guessed it it is here for the booze. This is a glow-in-the-dark set that came out in 2019. And because Color Street relaunched it yesterday, uh, I want to use it to see if I love it as much in the package as on my hands and see if I want to purchase another one to store away for later. Plus, tomorrow I'll be hanging out with my gal pals celebrating my friend Diane's birthday. And she and I are both really into the spooky season. So, with the first day of autumn, the autumn equinox today happening, I've got a brand new little nail mat here for the background. And I've got some spooky music in the background. Uh, so I'm hoping, because it's just one set, it'll just be a one part video but who knows I talk too much sometimes uh, but yeah let's get started shall we so I got this from another uh, Facebook group that has you know a unicorn sets for sale from folks that have you know old sets so I've been waiting and waiting for the opportunity to use this and you can see that it looks like perhaps might have been open just briefly on the side it's open here but it looks like all of the nails are intact I'm hoping that they're not melty like <laughs> I had done um, infinity love was another unicorn set that I had uh, stored away and I finally used it because again color street re-released it and I was able to use my original set that I was able to purchase only to curse myself because the set was really melty so I'm hoping that that's not going to be the case with here for the booze uh, but we shall see won't we uh, so let's just get started let me cut this open and <sighs> hopefully y'all are uh, doing well if you are new to this channel, my name is Wendy. I am born and raised in California, and I just do my nails and chit chat about life. So if that's what you're into, stay tuned and continue watching. Hopefully, uh, this provides some of you who are on the fence about buying Color Street and buying Halloween sets. Uh, the opportunity to look at a set and see, hey, do I like that on? Um, but yeah, this is here for the booze. Came out in 2019. Before the before I even knew about Color Street. And this one so far feels really good. Like it's not melty like the Infinity Love was. And let's just take the pieces that I know for sure I'm going to be using. So these I typically don't use. Uh, I save those for another time or for my nieces to use. So let's do that. And I definitely will use these for my middle finger. I think this one will be for my ring finger. For my pointer. So it looks like pointer, middle, and pinkies will all be the same and the rest will stash away but yes this I love the glow-in-the-dark sets uh, and I was really torn uh, when the 
Halloween sets were launched because uh, I've already reached my budget, especially celebrating a birthday with friends tomorrow. Uh, I've have reached my budget for this month, so I can't really go and buy all the sets that I want to buy. And that's okay. I mean, it's just nails, and I have plenty of sets. But still, Halloween's one of my favorite holidays, uh, second to Thanksgiving. So uh, seeing all of those sets, I was just like, oh man, I like, I want to buy most of them. But I'm definitely not going to buy the majority of them, only because Halloween is all but one month out of, well, one day, really, but one month out of the whole uh, year here, here for the booze. All right, uh, but, and I know it's not even October yet. If you go to the stores, though, you do, will see that Halloween has already started. There's everything out there. And I already have my Halloween costume all planned and ready to go. And working on getting Panda Bear's Halloween costume uh, purchased. All the stuff purchased for his Halloween costume. Uh, and we don't yet know... Uh, my sister-in-law, Carla, and her kids, like, we don't know what they want to be for Halloween just yet. But we are definitely going to find out this weekend. Because we can't wait. Uh, if we wait too long, then everything's just going to be very hard to find. And we don't want that. <laughs> so, but I'm going to be Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the newest movie. And then Panda Bear is going to be, well, he wants to be Gru from Despicable Me. And so we'll see how that turns out. Um, but yes, uh, want to find the pieces to his costume without breaking our bank. Ooh, 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 it's sticky. Oh, no. See, this is what I was worried about. The other piece that I just pulled out, that one pulled out just fine without any issue, but it looks like this one's a little bit sticky. Let's just see if it'll cooperate and come off the plastic so that I can use it. If not, I will kind of do what I did with Infinity Love and I'll do some patchwork and then it'll, it'll end up being a mixed Manny. Oh, I got it. Um, but yeah. The sets, Color Street sets, are really, like, only meant to last for, like, a year, I think it's what they say. Uh, but typically, if they're stored properly, the sets will last a very long time. There's a lot of folks that keep old, old sets, and they're able to use them still. So, so yeah... Um, really depends on how you store them because they're supposed to be kept at room temperature. 72 degrees is ideal is what they say. Um, but of course here in California and other parts of the world during the summertime and all of that could get pretty hot and humid. And I anticipated just in case that they're going to be a little stickier than normal, um, that I didn't put anything down on my nails at all. Like, I'll typically use the Color Street Nail Strengthener or my Nail Aid uh, as base coats. But today, I wanted to make sure that uh, it was my bare nails um, so that I can lay the Color Street down. And if for any reason uh, I need to adjust, it's much easier to adjust uh, when you don't have anything down on your nails. So if it's on your bare nails, it's easier to uh, lay it down. And if it's not laid down properly, you can pick it back up and adjust before you like really secure it down. And so that is why I didn't put anything on my nails today. Um, but this Halloween set, as I mentioned, 
my friend Diane and I are both like big on the spooky season. So because we're celebrating her birthday tomorrow, uh, I am putting on a Halloween set just for the occasion. So yes, here for the booze. And I'm loving that. I don't know if, I don't think there's a way I could show like it glowing in the dark on camera here, but I will take a picture and post it to my Facebook group. So if you're not in my Facebook group and you want to join us there, Wendy's Nail Fee Studio, link will be below in the description. That's where I typically post all of my nail fees and any other photos and videos and whatnot related to my nails and Color Street and family and friends and food. <laughs> my three favorite Fs, family, food, fun. Um, definitely post a lot on Facebook and Instagram surrounding those three themes there. But yes. All right. Look at that. The only thing about doing my nails like this, so you'll see that I used one strip for both, but you'll see that the ghosts are going in two different directions. So sometimes that really bothers me, uh, but I'm going to alternate it so then I don't feel so like, oh my gosh, I totally screwed up there. Um, but here we go. Because also these, one thing about Color Street that other uh, nail companies and they're not like using real nail polish like Color Street uh, but like other nail companies will have sets where the designs kind of mirror image each other so that your nails can kind of match better on each hand. Color Street doesn't do that. It is just you saw me take it out of the package. Uh, if they do a design it's literally just uh, two sets of strips that are basically the same and so um, that's the only gripe I have about Color Street is if you want to do a mirror image Manny you can't really get that done with the um, sets the way that they're printed and that's okay you have to be okay with it being different on each hand and yeah so be forewarned if you're a stickler for having your Manny's match might not be able to deal with the nail designs so it looks like this one's not gonna fit because my nails are too long for that now my nails have grown so long I don't know if you guys have noticed from video to video but I haven't cut my nails as of yet and it's getting to the length where I'm at the point I need to think about cutting them because I do a lot of typing at work and when I do cook I do a lot of I wash dishes I don't use gloves when I wash dishes um, and so I don't want to accidentally break a nail because when you break a nail you're kind of forced to chop them short I like to proactively chop my nails down so that I can pick the length to chop them down versus if I break a nail it's kind of like I'm out of luck and I gotta I gotta um, cut them down where, how, wherever the break occurred and that's not fun so getting to the point where I gotta think about cutting them um, and this is like the season I think it was Stacy Adams uh, in her Facebook live yesterday um, that said that uh, she has to like think about um, her the length of her nails because this is the season we're in fall fall is like my absolute favorite fall going into winter time because of as I mentioned Thanksgiving and Halloween um, and also the holidays with Christmas um, best time to do nails because all the fun 
sets with Color Street come out during that time. So, um, yeah, I got to make sure my nails stay a certain length so that they will look good with all of the different sets. But got to be all picky and choosy. I have so many, so many. Um, and um, it doesn't help either <laughs> that uh, Color Street has come out with new makeup. And you know I got to buy it and I got to try it. And I got to give you guys the, the honest truth of how the makeup's working out. So, so far, the mascara has launched uh, at the beginning of this week. And then, of course, they launched their Halloween sets. So, the mascara, my sister-in-law, Carla, being a stylist, uh, was able to get us the mascara ahead of schedule. I'm trying to decide where to stick this little ghost because I want to keep it and not waste it, but I don't know where I want to stick it. Maybe I'll just stick it on here. This is where my cuticle cutter, the box for my cuticle cutter, and actually Diane, my friend Diane gave me this. And so, um, there we go. Now I can keep it for a very long time because it's part of that box. Um, but yeah, my sister-in-law Carla got us uh, first dibs on the mascara. And I've tried the waterproof one. I truly tested it. In my other video, I mentioned how I tested it as far as uh, watching a movie that made me cry, like ugly cry. Uh, and uh, yesterday, I actually went and took a tone it up class at Get Fit Factory. And I decided to wear the waterproof mascara for the workout. I know, makeup for a workout? Who does that? But I wanted to test it out. I'm like, it says it's waterproof. Does that also mean it's sweat proof? And yes, I must report back that yes, it is sweat proof. I sweated a whole bunch and there was no raccoon eyes uh, at the end of the workout. So if you are looking for a waterproof mascara that truly is uh, waterproof. So I've tested tears and I've tested sweat. And yes, so the only last test I need to do with the waterproof mascara, which I don't know when I'll get to do this, uh, is testing it in a swimming pool. So I don't know when I will have access to a pool, probably in the summertime. But if and when I get a chance to do that, I will test it out and let y'all know if it is also swim proof. <laughs> um but I do need uh, to use makeup remover oil to remove the waterproof mascara, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but surprisingly, so the makeup uh, oil remover that I have, the makeup remover oil, I should say. Uh, so I've tested that out on other makeup before and it wasn't like the best for taking off like the full face of makeup but surprisingly it is helpful in taking off the waterproof mascara so I don't know what the chemistry is in that but um, just thought I'd mention that for those that are into makeup or interested in makeup and all of that for those who are just here for the nails um, uh, what can I say about nails? Um, ooh, well, I should mention this because it's happening. Uh, if you're not part of Stacey Adams Facebook group, uh, I will link it below. So she's having this awesome sale right now where she and her friend Marie had, uh, created a bunch of like glitter top coats and they look super awesome 
and I'm excited to see how many people are going to buy them uh, because like they made a whole bunch and they all look so cool especially the one that is uh, a nod to Color Street's Thanks a Million which is a set that I absolutely love uh, because Thanksgiving, thanks a million. Those colors are just, you know, totally my jam. I really wish Color Street would bring back uh, thanks a million so I can get more of them. Um, but Stacy had created one that was a nod to thanks a million. So I'm interested to see what that looks like on folks. Uh, so yeah, whoever buys it, I hope that they take pictures of them wearing it because I would totally want a bottle of that if I wasn't already over my budget for this month so it always seems I need to like remember to like save a little budget for around this time of year because there always seems to be some cool like sale going on or whatever and I end up missing out when I've already spent my allotted budget for makeup and nails <laughs> so so yes and with the holidays right around the corner that doesn't help either because then it's like div diverting the budget to gifts for loved ones um, so yeah but anywho um, alright so far what are my thoughts on here for the booze. I mean, it is really cute. Will I buy another one? I don't know, actually. And the reason why I say I don't know is because I already have a bunch of Halloween sets from prior years that I haven't used yet. And I need to not buy the same sets over and over. Uh, there are sets, though, that are just worth buying more than once. And right now, I'm, like, undetermined on this set right here. Because it is absolutely cute, but will I wear it again? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, I absolutely love this one. Because the little ghost and the boo and the stars, they need more of this one, I think. I think in my opinion rather than all these little ghosts but I'm sure there's going to be comments stating otherwise maybe some of you guys like this one more than you guys like that one um, but this does feel stickier than most so I may need a top coat and that's interesting because I don't recall Color Street sets having this texture. I know I've had uh, Lily and Fox sets um, that I've used before having this kind of texture, but I, this might be the first time where I've used a Color Street set where it feels like this weird, I, I don't want to say plasticky, but that's like the only way I could really describe it. Like the texture is a little different and it's, the set feels a little thicker than some of the other sets that I've used. So, and I don't know if it, that's because of the glow in the dark. And I'm trying to remember because I did use a set. Was it last year or the year before? That was also glow in the dark. Boo Crew, which is also another awesome set. I wish they would bring back. Uh, and I feel like it was also a little bit sticky and thick. So it might be the glow-in-the-dark nail polish that they're using that's making it, like, so thick. I don't know. If you guys who are watching know the chemistry of that or know actual information instead of speculations like what I'm doing, uh, comment below and let me know because it does feel a little stickier than... And thicker but yeah oh let's see let me think when was the last time I did my nails 
because I did the mystery twosie from the fall edit uh, thanks to Tara Stoddard and providing me the lucky cardigan twosie uh, and what day of the week was that was that Sunday that would have been the day that I oh yeah I bet you I was was that the day where I was rushing out of the house to have a date with panda bear and have pizza my goodness that pizza was divine like so absolutely delicious um, it's a place in Pasadena and it's literally like you're taking a tour of the world eating different cuisines of the world uh, so if you're ever in Pasadena the name of that restaurant oh what was it um, you know I don't recall and I'm using my phone to record this video so I can't look it up right now but it was like some kind of Italian name and it had the numbers seven I think seven eight six in it um, but yeah we had a pizza that was called Habibi and it had ground lamb and Greek yogurt I think it was and oh it was so good and then this weekend um, is another pizza tour place that Panda Bear and I are going to hit up um, I believe he said this next one we're going to is in Covina and so um, yeah really excited to try more pizza because why not pizza is delicious and pizza is like you could do it in so many different ways the pizzas we've been trying have all been kind of very New York kind of style thin crust uh, Neapolitan is a Neapolitan style I'm forgetting but yeah really delicious and uh, the thinner the crust the less carb calories there are so that's always good too um, but I also I had a friend that used to live in Chicago and I am also a big fan of Chicago style pizza the deep dish uh, kind of pizza that's almost like gives the name pizza pie like literally lives up to the name uh, for pie because it's so like freaking deep dish almost like a slice of lasagna pizza uh, we have a place near us called the dough box that makes a really good Chicago style uh, deep dish pizza we haven't had it in ages though because not really part of our diet plan right now um, but the thinner crust pizzas we can sure fit that in especially if I'm gonna be working out um, but yeah um, I'm still like checking out all the different classes at the get fit factory because I want to write a real honest review on Yelp um, for them because they deserve that and so far, I've been really liking the classes. Yesterday's class was a lot of fun, although the internet, like, crapped out on us. And then the beginning of our workout, so that was weird. Uh, but Alfred was really good at, like, just keeping us going uh, while he fixed that little technological issue that occurred. And so, so yeah. Um, I really like his style of teaching for the classes, so I may just um, check out more of his classes. He has a joint class with the owner, Tatiane, on Sundays for Zumba, and then he also teaches a cardio kickboxing class, I think, on Tuesdays. Um, but yesterday was interesting because yesterday was a tone it up class but before I got there a little early and there's a Zumba class before and on the schedule it says that the instructor for that class is named Cynthia but 
it looked like Alfred was teaching the Zumba class. So I'm like, I wonder what gives there. Like, did Cynthia call out? Or does Cynthia not exist? I have no idea. I haven't gone there enough to really know, like, the ins and outs of who the instructors are and what classes they all teach and all of that. Um, but I do know that I like Alfred's style of teaching, for sure. So... We'll have to check out more of his classes and see which class uh, fits my schedule the best. Still trying to work all that out, but what I'll be doing tomorrow, uh, my sister-in-law Carla and I were going to take a, a Zumba class, but then uh, because she's still coughing, even though she's not sick, um, we're hesitant at... Um, attending a class with her coughing like that. So instead, she and I are going to do a workout at her house. And I was like looking through YouTube to see if um, there's like videos on Zumba or cardio kickboxing. And I think I found some really awesome ones. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow morning before I hang with my gal pals to celebrate Diane's birthday and I'm excited to try this out and see if Carla and I like doing workouts in her living room because if we do then we will do that more often and that will save me a bit of coin <laughs> and that coin could be spent on more nails yay no <laughs> um yeah anyways so <laughs> Um, here we go. We're almost done here. I know it's not the normal. I don't even have a normal schedule, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yes, I wanted to do just one set because this set by itself already is just mixed up enough where I don't need to mix it with anything else, I feel. And yeah, wanted to try this set and show it off before it sells out on Color Street's website and to see if I want to buy another set of these to store away for another day. And I mean, I love this. That, that is my favorite for sure. And I'm glad that I have like a couple of strips of it left where if I wanted to, I could use it in a mixed mani and use it as an accent nail. Uh, in that mixed mani so so yeah but and as we always disclaim those of us who uh, make videos and save our leftovers uh, color street is a one-time use product so we can't really like uh, guarantee you can't guarantee that if you seal it whether you seal it and throw it in the freezer or you don't seal it and throw it in the freezer or you seal it and you don't throw it in the freezer uh, that it's going to work uh, later on. I've had pretty good luck though because I typically use my leftovers on my nieces and haven't had too much of an issue. Maybe there are a few that you know I didn't seal them properly uh, or it's just gotten too hot and humid and they got all melty and stuck to the plastic. Um, but the majority of them have worked. So, just saying. Um, may have to use them again for another mixed mani there. But hey, we're doing great on time today. What? I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I think that might be all I've got for y'all right now, uh, ooh, but coming up in the upcoming, my next Mixed Manny is going to be the Color Street Color Play September subscription box sunset rider so haven't fully determined what I'm gonna do with 
the sets yet, but I know there's going to be a bunch of layering for sure. Uh, I've seen really cool nail fees that um, other folks have posted of using that the sets from the box and I'm looking forward to doing a very fall vibe Manny with all of the sets. So yes. Alright. But here is the final final look. Of course I will make sure to use cuticle oil and lotion and do a little bit more cleanup work uh, and then take a nail fee when the lighting is better tomorrow morning so that you guys can see this but I probably will add a top coat I feel like it needs glitter <laughs> so anyways that is all for now I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time <laughs>